Hey, this is Pete. Thanks for checking out my channel and this blues guitar lesson. So this time around, I'm going to be covering a Chicago blues style shuffle in the key of E major. It's a 12 bar blues progression. And what I'm doing here is combining the lead and rhythm guitar parts together. So this is actually a really good way of practicing on your own, combining the two, the rhythm, using some lines and licks and phrases, as well as the pentatonic scale and coming back to that steady shuffle rhythm as well. So we'll get started with the example and then I'm going to follow it up with the tutorial. <laughs> All right, right off the top, I'm starting with a pickup line or phrase, and then it's taken me into my rhythm, my bottom end rhythm, which is that shuffle feeling or shuffle groove. All right, so I'm, I'm sliding into a triplet and I'm playing a lot of open strings here. <laughs> So there's slides, there's open strings, and triplets as well. And there's that rhythm, that bottom end rhythm. Alright, so one more time. Finishing up on the one, I'm just continuing on, not too much different there. I'm sliding and again I'm playing triplets, I'm using open strings. Alright, so lots of open strings. little triplet with the slight bend on the high E string. All right, when you speed those up, you can add a little flash to your playing. Quick triplets. Here's the second part. Just sliding into the E. All right, that finishes off the one, and then I move on to the four and the rest of the 12 bar progression. All right, I start things off working off the four, which is the A. There's a little trill there. Then I move it up and I play it up an octave. Here it is lower. Here it is up top. All right, and then I'm finishing it off with this. That's the one, right? All right, and then continuing on, I'm playing off of the one and getting into the five. sharp on the bottom and that ends my 12 bar progression all right so
there's that triplet again. Which takes me to the one, and then I do my little turnaround line to resolve to the five. Moving on to the next 12 bar section. similar pentatonic lines. Followed up by... And then moving on to the four. I'm trying to play off the four chord here. Lots of notes happening on this line. Okay, so I'm sliding into the 4 on the low E string, and then... That's the sequence. And then... Just like on the first 12 bar section. Into the 1, right? The one is finished, and then I'm going to be moving into the five chord. Kind of similar to the four. Here's the five. Five to the four. I'm going to play that one slow. That's the four. All right, and then I'm ending things like this. So, from the five. I hope you enjoyed this example and tutorial on combining rhythm and lead together. It really is a good way of practicing on your own to combine the two things. The key of E is good as well because there's lots of open strings and it's quite a big sound. On my playlist, there's other videos that are similar or combining rhythm and lead together. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and remember that you can subscribe to the channel. I post regular blues guitar lessons. All right, we'll see you again really soon. Thank you.